Hey there, this is Yelena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today I am in Cricut Design Space, and I am going to show you how to upload a multicolored image file, so like a JPEG or a PNG, like a flat image file, and turn it into a multicolored, multi-layered cut file. So to do this, I am in a brand new project and I'm going to head over to the left hand toolbar here and click on the upload button. It's going to bring up the upload screen and I'm going to just click right on upload image. And then I'm going to click on browse. This is going to open my computer navigation window. So I will head on over to my file. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload this guy here. So I'm going to click on it and hit open. Okay, so when you open, when it opens up, you should get the choice of simple, moderately complex, or complex. I'm always going to choose complex. Even though this is actually a fairly simple image, I'm going to go with complex just because I think it's going to give you more choice on how to separate out the layers in the next screen. So I'm going to hit complex and hit continue. And now I am in the background remover screen. Okay, so this is where I have good news and I have bad news. If you are a Cricut Access member, this is available to you. If you are not a Cricut Access member, this is not available to you. So that greatly, greatly, greatly limits your ability to upload and separate image files unfortunately. Like without this, I'm not sure there's a way to do it. There probably is, but within Cricut Design Space, but not an easy way that I'm aware of. So if you don't have the background remover, it's going to be pretty difficult to create a multicolored, multi-layered cut file from something like this. You could easily upload probably single color images. And if you have a photo editor that you're good at with where you could actually go in and remove the background that way yourself then you could do that that would be awesome but then you'll need to be removing everything except for the heart and save that as one image and everything except for the love and save that as an image and then you have to upload these separately which is basically what we're going to wind up doing after we remove the background here so is that worth the $10 a month for Ac Cricut Access? I would say if you are using only Cricut Design Space and you want to upload images like this and do what we're about to do, then yes, it absolutely is worth the $10. If you have alternate ways of doing it, like you're pretty tech savvy and you can do it in a different program, remove all the background and, and break it apart, then it's probably not worth it for you. That is one of the unfortunate things about Cricut Design Space. All right, so enough said there. I'm going to just go from here, assuming that you are a Cricut Access member and you do have access to the background remover. Now, over here on the left-hand side, the default setting is the manual select, like magic wand kind of thing, which is this crosshairs. And so I'm going to use that first. So I'm going to remove the gray background and I'm going to just click on the background and it takes it away, as you can see. Now you can hopefully also tell that it is still inside the loops and I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click on that and click on inside the loops. Basically just center the crosshairs over what you want to remove and then just click to remove it. And if it's really small, like it is in the V there, I'm going to zoom in with the zoom tool down here and click it that way. Okay. All right, so if you want to save this as basically one layer and you want to cut both the heart and the love out of this image out of one color, then you could sit, hit apply and continue and move forward from here and you would have a one layer design. However, that's not what we're talking about today. We were talking about cr creating a two layer design. So. At this point, you'd have to decide, do you want the heart to be the first layer or the love to be the first layer? I'm going to make the love be the first layer. So I'm going to click on the heart to remove it. However, I want to zoom in 
because if you look very closely, there is still an outline of the heart that needs to be removed. I'm not sure why that is, and that won't happen with every image file, but it will happen with some of them. So it's something you're going to have to check because if you don't check and you just hit apply and continue, the heart's going to show up on the next screen and it's, and you can't go back. You'll have to start over. So always just zoom in and check to make sure that there aren't any like hidden outlines kind of lying around. And unfortunately, it's virtually impossible to click on this to remove it. So I'm going to have to go over here to the left hand side and click on the erase tool. And the erase tool lets you erase, as you can see, like anything inside that little black circle, if I click and drag, it's going to erase anything inside of it. Now you can change the eraser size and make it a little bit bigger. Sometimes that can help. You just have to be really careful when you're getting close to something like this that you don't accidentally erase the black. So I'm going to just click and drag to erase this. And as you can see, the red is kind of tough to see on the blue and the blue and white uh, transparent background. So if you're in this situation where you have sort of a weird color that doesn't show up well, I would say just zoom in as much as you have to in order to erase all of it and be pretty thorough and pretty careful because if you wind up with like say extra dots or bits that you forget to erase, that will cause problems when we get to the next screen. So I think you guys understand what I'm doing. I'm just basically going through and erasing this outline. So I'm gonna just skip ahead so you don't have to watch me do this. Okay, so it looks like I have erased all of the outline of the heart. So I am going to now hit apply and continue. And now it's asking me to select the upload type. Now over here I can select a cut image and I will just have it as just a cut image. And that's fine if that's all you plan to do with it. However, I would suggest that you, anything that you upload, I would I would save it as a print and cut image just on the off chance that maybe sometime you might want to use it as a print and cut image. You can always take a print and cut image and switch it over to a standard cut file once you get it back into design space, but you cannot do that with a cut image. So I always say just to be safe, go with print and cut image and then you can change the image name and I am going to actually add a one since I know that we're going to have a two layered image here. And then you could also add tags if you wanted to, to help you search for it. If you can't remember the name, so like love, heart, layered heart, whatever you wanted to call it, and then hit upload down here on the lower right. Okay. And then it comes in over here as my most recent upload. Well, we want the heart too, right? <laughs> so how do we do that? All right, now we just have to basically repeat the entire thing we just did. So we're gonna upload image here by clicking on this button, hit browse, find the image, hit open, select complex, hit continue. And now we're gonna basically repeat exactly what we just did, but instead of saving the black parts of the design, we are now going to save the heart, the red parts of the design. So I'm going to again, click and drag or click to delete the background, the gray background. I'm going to, I'm going to click and delete the gray out of the loops again, just so I don't have to worry about these as I am going to be deleting the black. Okay. And so now I'm just going to click on the word to delete the black word. However, <laughs> maybe you can see here, I'm going to zoom in even more. There is still an outline of the word here. So I'm going to have to do exactly the same thing that I did with the heart. And that is erase this entire outline. So again, going over to the eraser, it has defaulted back down to the smaller size. I'm going to use that just for this area that's real close to the heart. But then I'm going to increase the size, it makes it a little bit easier 
and then just go over and erase. And actually, I think I'm going to make it a little bigger just so I can get both lines at once. But again, you have to be really careful and make sure that you erase all of it because you can easily wind up with like this, say for example, like these little random lines that will show up on your cut image or the image that we're gonna save in a second. So again, just be really careful and go through and delete all of this. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this and I'll be back. Okay, so I have deleted all of the outline of the word love and now I'm just going to hit apply and continue. And so again, we've got just the heart and it can either be a cut image or a print and cut. Again, I'm going to save it as a print and cut. I'm going to call it love with open heart two since it's my second layer. Again, you could add tags, keywords as you need them, and then hit upload. And so then the heart comes in as my most recent upload. So to get both images on my canvas, I'm going to click on the heart, and you see it turns it has a green outline. Hold down my shift key, and that's the same in PC or Mac. Click on the love to select them both, so they both have green boxes around them. And then at the, over here on the lower right, click Add to Canvas. And it even has a little, the little images here, so you know you've got the two that you need, or however many you need. And they come in, and they are ginormous. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to shrink these down, and they are both selected. As you can see, I've got two layers. I've got the heart on one layer and the love on the other. They are both selected because they're both dark gray. I'm going to go to the size box up here on the top and I'm going to size them down to say eight inches. And so they both shrink kind of proportionally to each other. And I'm going to click off of them and then I'm going to click the, the heart to just separate it and click the love and sort of eyeball the placement. And that is it basically. That is how you upload a flat image file and turn it into a multi-colored, multi-layered cut file. So because we now have our two layers for the two different colors. And that's the process that you would follow for however many colors are in a design that you want to use. You'll have to just continue, like upload the image, delete the parts you don't want, make sure to erase anything extra, save the first section that you want as the first layer, the first color. Do it again for the second color. Do it again for the third color, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is not, in my opinion, the the most user friendly way to do this. Cricut Design Space is kind of awkward in this. There are other programs where you can just trace an image and it will split it apart or allow you to split it apart. But it's doable, and you know this is how you do it. Unfortunately, I do think you do have to be a Cricut Access member to be able to do this effectively and easily. So just bear that in mind. But now I could take this and I can turn it into whatever I want because I can cut my, my red heart and I can cut my black letters. I can print them and cut them. I can add a square like the image had and make it into a card, which is what I did. Actually, I made them into two cards as you see here. I hope you've gotten something out of this video. I hope it helped you out. If I did, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and leave me a comment. These videos do take multiple hours to put together, so I would really appreciate it if you could do that for me. And if you got something out of the uh, video, I would also appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I would really love that. Thank you so, so much. Have an amazing day.